Day five without sleep in the Big Howard house. That's not the Big Howard house, it's my house too. Sorry. Day five without sleep in the Big Howard Little Howard house. Little Howard starts to hallucinate, seeing and hearing things that aren't really there. I'm not. Who are you talking to? Can't you hear that? Hear what? Oh dear. Three days ago, on day two without sleep, Little Howard's immune system started showing signs of stress. He got spots and a cold. Achoo! Bless you. Bless you. Two days ago, on day three without sleep, he started showing signs of moodiness and an inability to repeat simple tongue twisters. I did not show the sign of moody, tibbly, bibbly, bibbly, of simple... So shut up. Didn't say anything. On day four without sleep, he started having memory lapses and a difficulty concentrating. I did not. Or did I? Sorry, what were we talking about? Are you all right, little house? And on day five, he started going properly loopy. <laughs> I think you should go to bed. Never. <laughs> Day six without sleep. Little Howard's speech is slowing and he's having difficulty naming common objects. My face is flowing and I look, that is um, the thingy. And that's, um, <coughs> here's a great big grinning robot. Hi there, can you pass the milk please? Well, pass him the milk then. Pass who the milk? Will you please pass the milk to that robot? His hallucinations are getting worse. Do you see yet why you've got to go to sleep? You're falling apart. No, I'm not. Am I? No. Oh, no, certainly not. The massive chicken agrees with me. What? Dear Seven, without sleep, as well as the hallucinations, Little Howard is irritable. Pass me the cornflakes! Why won't that dolphin pass me the flipping cornflakes? Hello, Mr. Unicron. Now tell me, have we met? I really think you should go to bed, Little Howard. Oh, don't you start. Dear Eight Without Sleep, at one o'clock in the morning. <sighs> Will you put a flipping sock in it? Right, I've had enough of this abuse. I'm off. And another thing, I'm fed up with people doing terrible impressions of me.